College, the Rwanda Defense Force Command and Staff College, is the premier institution in the RDF. It trains, it has two parallel courses. One is Junior Command and Staff course, uh, attended by um, captains up to majors, and their police equivalents. And the senior course, the senior command and staff course, attended by majors up to colonels and their equivalents in national police. There is no doubt that uh, this, the, the, studies uh, the studies studied here contribute to national security because it is only the professional army that understands the interrelationship with other agencies that are able to maintain and secure a country. That it's a, co a course that en um, enables students to understand the national interests that they are meant to protect. This is uh, the ninth ed edition or intake. Could you please tell us uh, the, the main results that you are celebrating now as you, now you have uh, ninth graduation? We are now celebrating the ninth cohort of uh, the since the establishment of this college from uh, its inauguration by His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Rwanda and the Commanding Chief of the Rwanda Defense Force in 2012. We have graduated 413 graduates for senior command and staff course and 447 graduates for junior command and staff course. Out of the 418 um, senior command and staff course graduates, 94 come from allied countries. In, from the continent and beyond, and undoubtedly, it it it, it is a, a sign that uh, portrays our the image of the college, and uh, by extension the uh, the image of the Rwanda. As a, Given the deals that now you have registered so far, what is the, your vision as uh, institution, but also when you see the, the, the country priorities and the vision? We intend to make it a center of excellency in the region and beyond, based on research, based and premised on the IT technologies, so that um, our training and education is tailored on the evolving technologies that prevail in the day. Is it mandatory for all officers to come to this school and uh, when you don't come, what happens? Ideally, every officer at that level should attend because the knowledge given in this college is needed by every officer at that level. It may not be possible because of other reasons, but ideally, yes. And there is no refusal. If you are eligible, you are able, then you attend. Given now the, the status of this uh, college and uh, the reputation, uh, could you tell us about uh, the ranking of this school compared to other colleges uh, in the world? We don't rank military courses, but uh, a, the senior command and staff course and the qualification that we provide from here is acceptable in the entire world. And. Um, as for the East African community, the, the program that we offer here is standardized in a East African staff and command colleges. So we basically offer the same package, same duration, same number of, of um, ranking, same level of officers. Sometimes we hear that there's a graduation ceremony at this college. What does it mean, graduation happening here 47 graduating what does it mean really for the school but also for 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 the the students the graduation means a lot both for the students and the faculty and the rdf as well uh, this is because um, graduation we, we we believe that um, grad, uh, graduation or, or or rather the senior command and staff course is, uh, is not considered as another level in officer education. It is a professional and a transformation experience that is gained by an officer that attends here. So it is a celebration. It is, a, um, it is an achievement. To the institution, it is another um, group of people, professionally trained, that is injected into the professional military 
to enhance our deep-seated professionalization.